On the west coast of France, near the mouth of the Loire, lies Saint-Nazaire, a port since the time of Julius Caesar. During World War II, it was an important German submarine base. In the protected lock built by the Germans is the French submarine Espadon, or Swordfish. Built in 1960, the 77 metre vessel was the first French submarine to journey under the ice of the Norwegian Sea. A set of headphones provides the information as you guide yourself around the inside of the submarine. With a crew of 65, it would spend up to 45 days away from home. They effectively built the ship and then fitted the crew around the equipment inside. There's one small galley and only bunks enough for two thirds of the crew, the other third being on duty. There's one cold seawater shower and two toilets. On top of the protected lock are views over the town and port alongside the positions for defensive guns. You can see the slavery memorial and the pre-war dry dock intended for the Tirpitz and blown up by the British commandos in Operation Chariot when they rammed the gates with an old World War I American destroyer named the Campbelltown. The U-boat pens were constructed by the TOT organisation using 4,600 workers, mainly Spanish. The TOT organisation was a paramilitary organisation using slave labour to build Hitler's Atlantic Wall and other infrastructure within the Third Reich. The local Coast Guard uses the pens and port for training purposes nowadays. Allied bombing raids never penetrated the roof, but 85% of San Nazaire was obliterated during these operations. The town was rapidly rebuilt after the war, with utility the order of the day. For us, it was then back over the bridge and onto our campsite back in the Vendée.